Hey, how's it going? I was just playing this game called Chambers the Outlaw. It's sort of like a little mini sort of sample of a new game that's coming out soon. And sometimes they'll release like a prologue or like a chapter zero or something of like a game, like a full game. And you get to try this sort of small game, like usually free to play. You get to little, play a little snippet of it, almost like a demo. Anyways, um, yeah, it's one of those types of things. The full game is coming. Not out yet, but this part is. Anyways. I saw this game just the other day on Steam and I thought, oh my god, this looks so amazing. It looks like a PS1 game kind of a thing, like a first person shooter, PS1 game with sort of some RPG elements to it. And um, anyway, so I got it, I downloaded it, it's free to play, and so I threw it on and uh, wow, the graphics in this thing are so amazing. It really does look like a PS1 game, it has that old school pixel sort of style graphics where um, it sort of looks like a PS1 where things are kind of like pixelated and a little stretched a bit maybe kind of thing and uh, the character models kind of were ps1-ish blocky looking but in a good way it looked really interesting like that so i love that the music fit with the western sort of theme and style it was like really nice everything went together so perfectly in that way but that's pretty much where all the good stuff ends <laughs> and the rest of the game is just um kind of a mess i really did not enjoy it at all i thought it was terrible this is one of those types of games where the, the purpose of the uh, of the free sort of game of it is to get you to sort of put it on your wish list so you don't remember like so you don't forget to uh, buy it when it comes out you know and to get you interested in it but you know I had this on my wish list already and by the time I was done with the demo I removed it from my wish list that's how bad it was. Holy fuck, I hate this game so much. So I couldn't, I didn't beat the game or anything like that. I don't know how long it is. I played for over an hour, and then I was just, I couldn't stand any more of it. I couldn't stand a single more second of this. It was so bad. There's another of these giant fucking pluses or whatever. Is that where I'm supposed to go? It doesn't really tell you anything. Where am I? So the biggest problem in this game is actually the, ga the gameplay itself. It's not fun, and it's, uh horrible <laughs> it's a first person shooter right but you'll be running along like normally in a first person shooter you have like you know you have a crosshair boop, right in the middle you have your gun and you're aiming along you know you're you know you're aiming along and shooting at stuff in this game though uh there's no crosshair and there's no way to add a crosshair although if you look at the uh, steam store page and you scroll down to where the animated gifs are you look at these animated gifs they have a crosshair so <laughs> the developer gave himself a crosshair but not the players so that kind of sucks so there's nothing in the options to add one but in this game when you're um when you're trying to shoot your like gun hand is like sort of like free floating and like you look this way and he's kind of like this he's always guns always going around like this and you're trying to like i don't know where, where you're even aiming where you're going to shoot you're like your gun is like this, this guy here, oh, you're gonna, your gun is like fucking going like this and like... Wow, that's weird. Got this floaty hand kind of a thing going on here. You're shooting it and there's no crosshairs. And so, not only is your gun aiming all wrong and you're shooting here, 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 here. But also, your shots don't always line up perfectly. So even though you're aiming here, you could shoot way over here, way here. Like, it's, it's fucked. This game is terrible. Fuck! The aim is so bad in this game. Cause look, like, is where am I aiming? Look at this. This thing goes to the left. It goes to the right. Goes up. Goes down. Where are we aiming here? Another thing that's kind of weird with the enemies, like you're sitting there trying to shoot. You don't know what's going on. You don't know where you're fucking aiming anything. And then the enemies that you're looking at, they'll have crosshairs. Like appear on them, just like this little crosshair will appear here or here, and just for a split second, then kind of vanish. And then it's very confusing. It was like, am I did I suddenly aim at him correctly, or what's happening here? So like, I tried to time my shooting with those times when the crosshair would appear on the guy in different places. Nothing. I don't even know what the point of that is, but it just confuses me. There's no crosshair on the screen. It looks like I'm aiming at these guys, but I'm really not sometimes. See, look at my shots, they're not going anywhere near that little 
the little plus that appears next to the guys. Doesn't seem to have any effect on anything or any purpose. Uh, it just, I guess it kind of shows you right before they're about to shoot, maybe? But, um, it's really stupid. <laughs> and speaking of stupid, you should see how dumb the AI is in this game. That guy shot me and then turned around and then was like ignoring me. So they don't come in, they'll just stand there outside against the wall. Oh, he killed his friend. That's nice of him. Fuck. They'll be shooting at you and you'll be having a gunfight with them. And then suddenly they'll just forget about it and walk off to the side or like walk up to a wall and just walk up and stare at a wall like this. <laughs> they'll just be stuck in walls. Oh my god. The guys are really dumb. They'll stand in corners. They'll get caught on buildings and just stand there. Like you're in a gunfight with a guy. Boom, boom. And he'll be shooting at you. And then he'll just like walk up to the wall and be stuck. <laughs> and then you just <laughs> shoot him and he's dead. And Oh my god, it's terrible. So many times you go around the corner and you gotta watch for all the guys that are just you stuck just on the wall. Because there will be some. And after you kill the guys, they can still get off like a death shot. When their head is missing, they can still get some good shots at you. <laughs> like I was having a gunfight with a guy and I think I, we somehow got into a conversation and we started trading, like right in the middle of a battle. I think once the battle was over... Oh, no, actually, no. I was in a gunfight with these guys and I gave them a potato and they, they decided everything was all good. Are we going to talk there, Trevor? Are you? Oh, he's shooting him at me. Like he's just in a step for a conversation here. I got something for you. <laughs> We're going to do a bribe. What do you think about a potato? I'm covering. I'm covering we were we were to to Mr. Mr. Man. Man. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Y'all called a truce with the locals, it says. I well, gave them a potato and they're all fine with the murders that we've done. So you have a horse in this game too. Um, I didn't find much use for the horse. You can jump on it and ride it and stuff, which is cool. Alright horse, I'm riding you. Let's get the fuck out of this place. Come on horsey. Maybe you can just ride right through these assholes. <laughs> Shit, horsey! You abandoned me! There's... The, actually, the play map is quite big. It's a very large map. And so I think the horse would be good for traveling around. Because you can't... Actually, you can't even run in this game. You, there's a shift button. Like, you can hold the shift. And your guy will almost seem like he'll, like, get down low and, like, fall on his chest. And then try and, like, shuffle forward on his chest. And then slowly get back up again. It's, I don't understand it. It's not a run button. It's like a... Um, it's not even a dive for the ground button. It's just kind of like fucked. A run. We don't have a run. He just kind of like rolls... Look at this. Like, what is he doing? It's like he's lying on the ground or something. I'm holding shift. So on top of the um, guns being total garbage and a uh, horrible gunplay system, when you get shot from the enemies, they have this huge friggin... Like a huge like explosion thing from where their hit their things hit but like if you get shot in the front there's gonna be this gigantic thing blinding you you won't be able to see fucking shit as they're shooting you just like your vision's fucking gone can't see anything and then it's just horrible it's just terrible it makes everything like um takes a lot of the fun away it makes it very frustrating you don't know what's going on or who seems shooting at you because you can't see <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I hate this so much. I really hate this. As well as not being able to shoot very well, the guns are always are also pieces of shit. It's like they were all made in Hyrule because they break every like two seconds. And like, I'm just being run running around with a full inventory of broken guns. And like, there's nowhere to to sell them. It says that it still has like a big price tag on them. So I want to hold on to these things to sell them to somebody, right? But 
I couldn't find anyone to sell them to. Nobody seemed interested in buying them. So I'm just running around with overloaded inventory of broken guns. The guy's running around carrying a fucking giant sack of broken guns. Fuck this game. Seriously. Fuck this shit. I hate it. When I finally got the map, it was kind of cool seeing that. At first I was a bit confused because my I noticed this thing moving along on the map really fast. And that's when I figured, or realized, oh wait, that's my guy. When you click on the map, you'll fast travel. And that's really awesome because uh, you're very slow in this game. You know, without your horse, which is always missing. But <laughs> you're slow as hell in this game, so fast traveling on the map is awesome. But it's hilarious because when you're fast traveling on the map, your character will do stuff that they're not really supposed to do. Like, um, say you have a giant mountain here like this. And you're here, and you want to fast travel over here. You'd think normally your guy would go around like this, right? And get to the place. But nope, in this game, <laughs> you get your guy, he'll go like this, on the mountain, over the mountain, and then get there. But, like, if you turn the map off when you're up here, your guy is seriously on top of, like, a fucking Mount Everest. Okay, that's me. Take me to this fucking plus... Oh my god. <laughs> the map brought me right up to, to like this. Like, fuck me, man. And you're like looking down, and like, if you jump down from here, you're probably gonna die, right? So, I think the only way off of that is to open up the map and fast travel off the mountain. But it's so stupid. Like, you, got, you can't do that. You can't just walk up to a mountain and go up it. But if you have your map on, it's automatic. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> Let's see where I know. Oh my god! You're not supposed to be up here! I am getting closer to this thing, though. But am I supposed to be up on top of the mountains? I don't think so. That seems wrong. And speaking of your horse always missing, I found out one reason why my horse was always missing is because um, sometimes when you respawn, your horse will respawn with you, but you'll respawn in a building, like uh, on a bed or something, and your horse will appear on the roof of the building and be stuck there. So many little stupid problems. Look at my fucking horse up on the, the roof of this building. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? This is all I can do with that about that. <laughs> So normally I wouldn't review a game or something like that until I've actually beaten the whole game, right? But every now and then something comes along and it's just so terrible that um, I, quit, I can't stand it for another second. I had to turn it off. I hate this game so much, so I can't play any more of it. Um, absolutely hate it so much. It's one of the worst games I've played in years. And um, I think that's enough to maybe review it on. You know, I have an hour in the game. And if you can't stand it for this much amount of time, find this many problems in it, I think it's probably okay to review it. It's not an early access. You know, it doesn't say beta version or anything like that. It's just released as a full version, right? Just full. Here you go. A little chunk of the game you can play. This is what it's going to be like. The full game is going to be this times like 100 maybe or 10 or something where you're just the same crap over and over again where you're frustrated but like having to go through a full game of it. I would give this game a 2 out of 10, and that's, um, the 2 is like, 1 is the, uh, the graphics and visual style, very nice, actually amazing. 2, the music, really good, and goes perfect with the graphics and the visual style. And that's it. <laughs> that's Chambers the Outlaw. Anyways, that's it for this, so, um, yeah, hit the, uh, subscribe button if you feel like it, and, uh, leave me a comment if you want. Maybe you got a game you want me to check out, or there's, uh, a mod for some old game or something, like some retro game. I, I like those kind of games the most. That's why I played this. I thought it was like going to be like a brand new PS1 kind of game, but it um, it looks like one. It just doesn't play very good. So leave me, let me know if you have anything you want me to check out or whatever. Leave a comment, and um, we'll see you next time, I guess. Have a good one.